Welcome to your Astrology and Spirituality Overview for Sunday the 10th of May. A day when the Moon is in the sign of Capricorn but forges a kind of prompting and positive link to Uranus which is kind of pushing us to make a change in some way. Now obviously with the lockdown for most of us if not all uh, people watching this it's much more difficult to be flexible when we can't just be as spontaneous as what perhaps used to be in. But that still doesn't mean to say that we can't change things, even in very simple ways, like could change the routine of the day, even the new routine that's come in. Turn it around a little bit. Um, try to do something you haven't done for some while. That could actually be really gratifying. Also, Mars in Aquarius is forging a great link to the newly arrived North Node, which is retracing, inverting in the sign of Gemini. So I think there can be some news today which emerges about the collective good, the collective direction of travel. Now, in my humble opinion, some governments have handled uh, the COVID-19 crisis magnificently and some have actually done really badly. And part of the reason of not doing things well has been a lack of anticipation. But I think the North Node linking with Mars can see more coordinated action where people come together in the collective. Perhaps it's going to be some kind of tracing app that will sort out early glitches and be a adopted by more people. If that is acceptable to you, I don't personally have a problem if it protects Elisa and I and anyone around us from COVID-19. So that kind of technology may feature today, but there could be a kind of universal pull of energy in a more positive way with Mars in that trine with the North Node. And what Thank about you, you so today, much. darling? Today we're going to use the uh, Litaro de Marcel cards, which we have on the website. Yeah, the reason I use these cards when we design the website, and the website is really old and out of date, and that's going to be... Uh, redone this year mm -hmm. um, and um, but the reason I use these cards is that I just love the sort of art history of them they're beautiful absolutely beautiful so oh okay, we've got one coming out. out right so it is the queen of wands Whoa. last time we pulled these cards we got the queen of swords so we're very uh queeny and the energy this week the queen of wands if it is a person in our lives often represents someone who's very creative very artistic very warm full of ideas um, and someone who we can really connect to. They, they can often be a fire sign, but uh, if not, they have that fiery type of energy. Um, You're a fire sign. I'm a you? fire sign, yes. And you've got Mars, the um, planet of fire, in the fifth house. Yes. Which is governed by the sun. Yes. Leo. So, oh, yes. Yeah, you know. So it could be you then. <laughs> it could be me. Um, but if it doesn't represent a person, this represents an area of our lives where we can just get stuck into something creative, get stuck, I've got this sort of vision of us just, you know, playing in the, the sand or the play-doh. What about this vision board idea that your mum mentioned? Yeah, so we were talking a while about what we can use um, to recycle things with and I was wondering what I could turn my cereal box into. And oh yes, the cereal box that the never The cereal got box that never happened but I was gonna get some pipe cleaners and maybe turn it into an alien but my, <laughs> my mum actually suggested that I could turn it into a vision board and this I thought this was a great idea so perhaps you know a vision board we cut things out of magazines or papers that we want to bring into our lives um, and just put down the vision that we want for our future on that. How, that's absolutely lovely so with this Mars and, and North Node energy which you know, Mars is fiery or can be fiery uh, in Aquarius. It's about the future and linking into our instincts about the direction of the travel of society, which is about asking us to communicate more. So more passion and then the moon in that wonderful trying to Uranus is asking us to do something different and be a bit more spontaneous. Yeah, I love that. So a very... Uh, a lot of energy there for today mm -hmm. so I hope you have a great day yeah. and if you'd like to check out your free daily horoscope please see beneath or if you'd like your free card uh, tarot also three please check out the link below but until we speak again tomorrow wishing you a very um, beautiful day and so it's goodbye from him and it's goodbye from us 
Goodbye. Goodbye.